Hi everyone, um, hope you're doing good. Today, filming a video, I know I haven't put up videos in like quite a long time, um, and that's honestly just because like, noises, um, just life kind of gets in the way in general, like, um, university and kind of having deadlines and planning EMS and um, just kind of everything gets in the way and I'm probably gonna do soon a video about like second year and kind of how I feel about it just because it's got it's been so different from first year if you don't know I'm doing veterinary medicine in the UK um, but this video is gonna be a little bit different I will be talking about um, A levels which I haven't done in a while so this video is gonna be about why you're not doing well in A-level chemistry and the reason I'm making this video is because I have gotten so many like messages like I either get them on Instagram or I get them um, just directly on YouTube and it's so many people just kind of asking me specifically about like why their grades didn't go the way they wanted or what can they do to improve or and it's usually just related to a lot of the times chemistry and A-levels in general and I decided that I would do a few more videos just to help you guys out because in the end of the day I did start my channel to help people out and if this is what um, the people watching are struggling with and I feel like I really want to help out and um, I feel like I kind of know uh, loads of the issues that are involved um, so yeah let's just get started with this video I will be making a few other videos concerning the A-level topics just to kind of address all the questions that I've been getting just in a couple of videos so that, that you guys have access to that. So today's video is going to be why you're not doing well in A-level chemistry. So this is a really difficult topic, okay guys? Like A-level chemistry, everyone always says it is one of the hardest topics out there to study at A-level. It's really hard because it's it's always a lot of content. It's mixing maths and science and it's, it's just, it's hard to get your head around all of it. Um, and I know loads of people ask me questions saying like, okay, I haven't done AS or I, I don't know if I should do this. And I say, don't ever let um, kind of fear stop you from doing something, especially because A-level chemistry is a topic that usually is requested if you want to go on to study medicine or something like that. So I'd say, don't just give up on it. Um, give it a try at least. Um, I've got other videos about it, but kind of follow um, a couple tips, make sure you're organized before you start and um, it shouldn't be too bad. So, okay, first thing you're doing wrong is you're not taking it seriously. I think um, when I started actually taking my A-levels more seriously and focusing and being like, okay, this is not just A-levels, it's a gateway to university, it's something I need to do if I wanna move forward, um, then it started becoming a lot easier for me. <clears throat> Sorry. And I think that's what happens with loads of people is that they're not taking chemistry seriously they're being like okay I've got other A levels and they try to focus on those because they're easier like no how it works is that if an A level is hard for you and you're struggling with it you should focus on it don't just ignore it because you don't like the way it's going focus on it put all your attention on it make sure you address it to the maximum and that you're putting a lot of focus on this topic okay so that's the first thing don't just ignore your problems like I know you're on YouTube looking for answers but make sure you focus on this topic okay it's it's important to actually focus um, next thing <clears throat> you're not taking class seriously okay and this is something I was guilty of I didn't particularly like love my chemistry teacher um, and I used to kind of be like okay this is pointless like he's not teaching me how I like I'm not getting it and you can't really help the teacher you have so what I would say is just take class seriously, okay? He's gonna give you a series of content and I'll talk a bit of later about resources. So first of all, take what he tells you. So what you do in chemistry class and, and make sure you focus in the sense of like, okay, so I've got this lesson for today. We went through this, go home and make sure you understand it. Even if it's not like the best and you're like, oh, this could have been taught better. Try your hardest to actually look at the content and be like, okay, how can I understand this? Because chances are, maybe if you don't like him, whatever, or her, they will be able to deliver the topic, okay? Chemistry isn't that hard to teach. Like, I've tutored children. It's really simple. It's basically just content, you know? And if there's areas that you're missing you don't understand, that's the next step is focus on those areas, okay? So for one lesson, you'll have one topic. Go home 
and focus on it. Look through it, read through it, and say, okay, I understand this area, but this area I'm not so sure of. And if you don't trust your chemistry teacher, address the resources, okay? That's the next step. Like, you need to have the right resources, you need to be active in your learning. Don't just, <clears throat> sorry, don't just wait around and be like, okay, I'll leave this to the side. Like, if you don't understand the topic, you need to address it straight away because tomorrow is a new class and it's gonna be a new topic and you're gonna be way lost if you don't like actually move forward. So the next step is using the appropriate resources, okay? So uh, what I didn't like as a resource was textbooks. I really didn't really like them because a lot of the time chemistry textbooks and kind of science textbooks in general are super wordy, they're so long. They're really bad at explaining things like they just they don't at all they just kind of list history facts and like stuff that i really don't care about so i would say go to the internet um chem revise is a really good website um my phone just went off by itself <laughs> um but yeah um so chem revise is a really good website um then there's YouTube resources, just kind of Google it. Also, Extreme Past Papers is really good. Um, and yeah, just make sure, even if it's just like Googling the topic you don't get, like you will get a list of resources and it'll be easier and better than just ignoring it. Okay, so just make sure you address those resources. Um, and then the material, just make sure you know the stuff. Like it's really stupid and like, okay, whatever, but make sure you actually know your stuff. That for the next lesson, You've kind of read through it, you don't- Really sorry you guys, the camera just cut me off. Um, but anyway, so make sure you've at least familiarized yourself with the material so the next time you go to chemistry class, it's not completely new and you kind of have a clue of what's going on. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to keep this video short, not too long, but basically those are the main things that you're doing wrong. And I know it might seem like really basic and like really simple, but there are things that I knew I was doing wrong, but I was really not willing to address them and to be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Like, I am ignoring this topic. I'm not focusing. I'm not going home. I'm not using resources. So once you see this list of things that you're doing wrong, it should kind of push you a little bit and motivate you to kind of, okay, let me address this issue. This is obviously not working out. I need to figure this out. Um, and I will be putting up further videos to kind of help you guys out a little bit more and addressing kind of like specific questions on revision and how to revise and, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make this quick video just to kind of address the main issues that I seem to find like a common pattern with you guys that you're doing wrong that's not getting you the grade you want in A levels. So just remember key points to not give up on A-level chemistry. I know it's hard, but it's not impossible. Like honestly, I know so many people that have done it that are not excellent, like geniuses or scientists, like myself included, we're all just average people, it's a topic like any other, it just requires a little bit more focus, a little bit more attention if you're not the best in science or if you're not really too focused, just really try hard and, and commit to it, like I think the second you commit and decide, okay, I need this, especially if you need it for another course that you want to do or for like the next step in your life, just focus and I'm 100% sure that you can achieve. So yeah, just stay tuned for my next couple videos on A-Level just to address kind of you guys' questions. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Leave any more comments below of what you'd like me to answer or if you have any more questions because I will be making these videos soon. And yeah, we'll see you in my next video. Bye.